hello 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 my friends this is Anne. welcome to in wrap it's been a while i miss you all but hey we are back for another tutorial this one i am really excited about um so we're going to be making the unisex viking knit bracelet this are so much fun to make so I do have three different styles or three different um, colors on here. This one is a bare copper wire. And this is before oxidation. I didn't oxidize it so you guys can see um, what it looks like before oxidation. I will post a photo. Are going to show are going to show the patina and not the stainless steel. So it's like a two-tone. Really, really cool. I love it. And you guys can make your own design. It doesn't have to look like this. You can use less copper if you like or use um, less silver or stainless steel if you like. You can have just two of the copper on each side and the rest um, silver or stainless steel. It's all up to you. The sky's the limit. You guys can design however you want it. That's the fun of it. So, let's put this aside for now. We're going to talk about our wires so all of the tools um, and the wires are uh, I'm going to uh, put them on the description and I'm also going to um, to include um, the links and the website where I got my my wires and my tools from so the first one where we have here that we're going to use is a, a 28 gauge half hard stainless steel okay you guys can use 24 gauge, you can use any wires, any color you like. Um, you can use 26 as well, but this one is 28. So we're going to need 30 inches um, times 5 of the stainless steel. Okay, and we're going to be using um, 24 gauge bare copper. So we're going to be doing this design. Forgot to tell you that. <clears throat> so uh, this is a 24 gauge um, dead soft uh, bare copper wire. I I got this one from Rio Grande. I I purchase most of my wires from Rio Grande. I have a few of them that I uh, purchase from um, from Amazon, like the Craft Wire. The Craft Wire brand is really good as well. Um, but mostly Rio Grande and I will put like I said I will put all the links um, on the description so we're going to need uh, five of these as well but 20 inches each so stainless steel 30 inches times 5 uh, 28 gauge 24 gauge copper wire 20 inches times 5 okay because this is a lot thicker than the 28 remember the smaller the number you guys the thicker your wire is going to be and we're also going to need 18 gauge round wire dead soft we only need um, about three inches of this wire these are just for just little loops right here okay and we're also going to need our 18 gauge for this coil okay I have I make um, my jump rings most all of my jump rings that I use for my bracelets are uh, 14 gauge so we're going to need five of the 14 gauge um, jump rings and Um, the closure or the clasps I also make them and I also use 14 gauge for this one and I hammer them this is this is already oxidized that's why it looks like that it's a different color I'll have a separate video um, so to show you guys how to make um, jump rings and different clasps and as well as uh, fish hooks for your earrings and then for our tools, 
So just your basic tools. Um, like I said, everything's going to be in the description, but I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> when you um, when you do a Viking knit, when I first started, I was using Sharpie. It works really well. I have this one as well. This one is a lot because it's a lot thicker. I've used that. I've used lipsticks. <laughs> but you guys, don't laugh at me. Um, a lot of people use the, the, what do they call them, dowel or something. But you don't have to spend any money. So um, I kept on trying to look for something that I could use that's going to be super, super easy for me. Okay. This one, my 12 year old was taking um, drum classes. He wanted to learn how to use the drum. So I bought him the drums and he's got this drum sticks laying everywhere. So the tip of this one is flat and you have that rounded area. It goes really thin down, but we're not going to use um, this part right here anyways. This part is what we're going to use about this much. But the good thing about this is long enough for me when I'm working on my um, bike, um, my knitting, I can set the bottom on my lap. <laughs> you guys will see. I'll show you. But this is such a great idea. So when you're, <laughs> you have to be creative when you're desperate. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Um, that's actually when you are really creative when that desperation sets in but whatever works for you okay so um, our next one I forgot to tell you guys you're going to need or, or let's call it flour that's going to be the base um, or your starting point for your knitting okay that's the one that's going to sit at the top right here um, so um, it's your base for you um, to start your weaving and you're also going to need um, some some type of tape um, this one I have the electric tape this is a regular you can use a um, scotch tape as well okay, so set that aside so what we're going to do, we're going to straighten our wires. You always have to straighten your wires um, with your nylon pliers. Or you can use your fingers as well. Or you can use a cloth. Just to get that started. So um, I didn't measure this part. I usually just do it on the spool. We're also going to need a ruler. I have this ruler right here. I believe this is um, about an inch and a half wide. You can use a smaller ruler as well, but this, this is all I have right now. So, <laughs> But if you have a smaller one or a, th a thinner one, that's fine as well. So we're going to need six petals for our flower. Okay. We're going to work at the end right here. So... You're going to leave about two to two and a half inches tail at the top. We we'll start at the top. And we're going to wrap, not too tight, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And leave another two to two and a half inches tail on that end as well. We're going to slip this off. Put our wire aside. Okay, so now you have this. Make sure you have six at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see this. So we have one. two, three, four, five, and six. It's really hard to see it through the 
<laughs> through the camera that's why I'm struggling a little bit okay so we're gonna slide that out carefully so you don't get it untangled so now you have this okay so take your nose pliers and hold the bottom oops sorry to make sure they're even it doesn't have to be perfectly even so just to hold them you know down at the bottom you don't want it you don't want it one like over an, an, an inch um, off the others as well so we're going to pinch them in the center can you guys see that we want to pinch right here in the center okay hold it there take your tails and wrap that around Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. This is just to hold, um, to hold your flower. Okay, I like to kind of squish that top too. Okay, I'm going to do the other side. Like so. Okay, now back to our petals. So we're going to start separating them. So now you have six. Okay them down and open that up just a little bit Okay, so now, hey, now, so now you have your flower. So this is going to be our base with six petals. So take your awesome drumstick. <laughs> We're going to face this facing at, to place this facing down right in the center let's put it in the center the best you can it doesn't have to be perfect so we're going to push down and start pushing those petals down what I do is I do one on the front and one on the back and then hold it down and push the other ones down so it's going to move on you don't worry this is the hardest part. Okay, let's make sure everything is in place. Then you're going to take your tape. Just tape around it. Just to hold it. Okay. I have this end uh, folded. <clears throat> so that's what we have we can move them around a little bit just to get them in place see this one is a little longer but that's okay I will show you how we can fix that okay so our base is ready <coughs> So it's up to you. You can start off with silver. You can start off with um, however color you like or your copper. So we're going to take one. 
okay so now that you have um, the flower petals secure we're going to start our kneading I think we're gonna start let's go start with the stainless steel so grab your wire with your nose pliers make a loop about we're gonna trim this anyways um, so make that loop about this one is about three quarters of an inch probably a little too long but um, just to get you started so it's gonna take a lot of practice to do the Viking knit but it's it's not that hard it's actually really fun so what we're going to do we're going to loop from the left top okay I don't know if you guys can see that we're going to loop it through on the front it's gonna hurt to see behind the camera I'm lift that up just a tad go with the loop through so now your loop is facing to the right okay you're going to pull to the left hold that tail down with your thumb okay push with your finger down and make that loop you see that it's like a ribbon okay so you have to secure this one with your thumb, your very first one, your very first loop. Secure it down so it doesn't move around on you while you do this first rotation. Okay, so that's one loop. So from now on, we're going to start from the right, back, okay, right, back towards the front and then you're going to pull your wire towards the left don't move that thumb keep that thumb down there so we're going to pull slowly gently while we do another loop and we form another ribbon pulling it down gently see that smiley face Now we're going to go to the third one with your thumb holding the second one down securely. Take the end of your wire, go from the back towards the front. Sometimes your pedals are hard to pull. I have this little gadget right here, you guys. This came with, um, it's called Pixis. This came with the glue that I purchased I don't know what this is called but I use this one because it has that tiny little ball at the end it has different sizes this one has a bigger one but this one works better so this is the one that I put that I used to kind of pull the stuff forward that includes your loops so you can get through okay so next one Go from the back to the front. It's like sewing. Just like sewing. Make a loop in your ribbon. Hold it down. Don't push too hard down too hard with your thumb. So just gentle. And do one more. Actually, we're going to do uh, all the way around so I can show you guys what to do at the end. And we're going to do this, this first one, until we run out of this first wire. And I'm going to show you how to add the new wire. Um, also, for this particular design, um, when you're doing the Viking knit, you can either do a single weave, double weave, triple weave, um, I haven't seen quadruple weave, but for this particular design, we're going to do double weaving. And I will show you that once we get to the third rotation. You have to have at least two rotations 
for you to start your double weaving. So what we're doing right now, this is single. Okay. So just gonna keep on going. You have to be patient and um, it takes practice. This is, I think this is like the fourth one I've made. My very first one, uh, it's, it, it wasn't very good. I didn't finish that one. I think I still have. This is the single weave. I'll show you. I still have it. There's the single weave. And there's the double weave. I don't know if you guys can see the difference. Single, double. So we're, we're at the end, or we'll just say the beginning. <laughs> so this one you're going to go on the same, show on the same spot on your first loop. Okay. Make sure that your wire is on top of that tail as well. We'll make that loop. Okay. Pull this down. Okay. So now it changes right here again. Okay. And the next one, you're going to go behind your ribbon, not up here not over here behind your ribbon okay see that behind the ribbon you can let go of that side now and you can use your left hand to pull. Okay. Behind the ribbon. This is actually really fun. Behind the ribbon. There's um, another tool that I forgot to show you guys, the draw plate. But we'll talk about that later when we get to that. So now at the end, right here, you're going to loop on this one, the second one, behind the ribbon to the single one right here. Okay. Making sure that your wire is on top of that tail. We're gonna trim that tail um, in a little bit. Okay, so now we have two. You see that? You have two loops on each, between each petals, your six petals. So this is when your double weaving or double knit starts. Okay, so we're gonna do another loop, but this time we're going to go behind the first ribbon okay because you're going to you have to count one two from the bottom one two so we go behind that this is your double knit okay, 
see that okay the next one one two behind the ribbon we'll call that the ribbon <laughs> and then we call this the loops okay so if it's not even like that it's okay you guys since you can use your tool you can use your um pliers as well to pull that down and that's okay okay one two and the loop okay. one two behind the loop or behind the ribbon first second loop from the bottom behind the ribbon okay so this tail right here we have to trim Let's snip that just a little bit so we don't need it that long okay so what I usually do with that is I usually tuck them in so once you get to this part right here, you get two or two or three, um, we can take our tape off. Okay, that's fine because it's secure. It's not, it's not going to go anywhere, but it's not tight enough for you to not be able to pull it out. So we're going to pull this out right now. We'll take our nose pliers. And this tail right here, we're going to bend towards the inside. Okay, bend and squeeze in. Okay, so make sure it's flat in there and that you don't feel anything on the outside. Okay, just put it back. So you can pull this up now. Squeeze that in if you like. And we're going to continue with our weaving. So this is the end. You see this has two and this one has three loops. But you still have to count from the bottom. One, loop one, loop two, behind the ribbon. going to look it's, it's going to start looking really nice and neat once you get to the third one okay now can get confusing sometimes now you have three loops but you still have to count from the bottom one two you see that behind the ribbon okay you just need to do it by twos. Um, you guys can comment at the bottom if you have any suggestions of, or if you have any um, ideas or anything that you'd like to learn how to make and if I have not made make that um, piece you can both you can both learn um, I plan on going live on YouTube at least once every two weeks I haven't haven't picked a date yet but um, I will let you guys know so one two So live tutorial is, is so much fun so you guys can um, interact and ask questions live.
doing it by twos. One, two. If you guys hear that noise, that's my fan. <laughs> it's warm in Oregon. Okay. It's gonna get a little tricky once you get to once you're um you're almost to the end of your wire. You can use your nose pliers to pull. I mean, you can cut this over here if it's too difficult for you, but um, for me, it is it is good to kind of start um, using as much of the materials as you can, especially if you are using um, gold wires or sterling silver or argentium wires because they can get costly. This is the end of the, the end for this wire. <laughs> but we did it. Okay, so there's your first stainless steel, our first layer. So the next one we're going to do the copper. Okay. So my copper has a loop. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to add new wires in. So for this one, you're going to go to the two. You count two for this side and one on this side. Okay. Behind, again, we're gonna start from the left to the right. Hold that wire to the right and Turn it to the left, holding that tail, and start your loop or your ribbon. <laughs> we'll get it, we'll get it. And then we're going to continue doing the double weaving. So, one, two, behind the ribbon. Two. This one is a little different because your 24 gauge wire is thicker than the 28. Okay. Let's do a couple more. So if it's hard to get to the back, you can use your whatever tool you have to kind of Loosen that up and pull it forward. Make a little more room for you. Okay. So once you get towards the end, again right here, you can pull it out, trim this, and tuck him in inside, and then continue. Okay, so I'm going to continue doing this. And once we get towards the end, I will come back and show you guys how to finish um, the knitting part. Okay. Okie dokie, you guys, we're back. Okay, so we're at towards the end. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna do some measurements in a minute. But um, another tip that I want to show you. So um. Let me show you how to finish this so that this is the end of your wire. Let me pull that out. I'll trim this just a tad. I'm going to snip a little bit. And 
we are going to come on focus Let's hold that in and squeeze in okay so you guys saw I pulled it all the way at the top and I'm just working on um, probably about a couple of inches from the top okay and another trick that I wanted to show you um, you guys um, the more you do your knitting and stuff they tend to kind of get too close to each other like this looking all wonky okay so you can take your nose pliers you can squeeze those together those sections together to make it tighter okay you'll notice towards the end because you're getting tired your eyes are getting tired your fingers are getting tired <laughs> but we did really good up here but that's okay okay so for this measurement for this particular um, size you guys before you stretch it <clears throat> or before you put it through the draw plate I always like to measure them so be between 3.5 to 4 inches It's going to give you between uh, six to seven inches long after stretching. Okay, so for this particular one, um, I have this size on my wrist. I have super tiny wrist. Um, my wrist is really tiny, so um, I have it measured on my wrist. Like I said, this is um, a unisex bracelet. So depending on um, what size you're you're wanting to make or you're looking for, you, you definitely have to. You're going to need to add more wires to make it longer. Or if you're making it for for a child, for instance, for instance, um, you have to use less wires. Okay. So we're done with this. We're done with that gadget. Put that away. So this is what we have okay so we have this gadget right here this comes as a set of two it's called the draw plate and it does have the sizes I don't know if you guys can see it at the bottom those are millimeters okay So from here it kind of overlaps too. So this one is from size 14.5 to 7.5. And this one is from 10 all the way down to 1.5. So for this particular design, this is a size 6 millimeter. But you do not want to go to... You don't want to put it through size six right away. It's going to be very difficult. Okay, we're going to start from the very big, the biggest one. Okay, so we're going to pull that through gently. We're going to do it twice on each hole. Just take your time and be patient. Okay, and then down to the next hole. you get to six all the tools that we're using um, are going to be listed down below as well as the links um, for where I got them from
I'm not just FYI I'm not associated with any uh, with Rio Grande or Amazon or anything so <clears throat> just giving you guys some tips and telling you where I got the stuff from where are we at 9.5 okay let's go to the next one now 9.5 And you can measure as you go along. We're looking for size six, whoops, six, between six and seven. So this is a woman's size. I'm like grunting over here, <laughs> trying to pull it. Women's size um, bracelet. That's 7.5 or seven now. Measure it. Okay, we are on six and a half. And then our last one would be, uh, where are you? Six, right here. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So now, our wires, we use 24 and 28. Okay. Um, you guys can use bigger wires. I believe you can use um, you can try 20 maybe um, But I'm done maybe 22 Okay So for for this one if you want to make something like a cuff bracelet, that's really stiff without if you don't want to use any of the extender um, Or the clasp or the closure the clasp you just want to make a um, a cuff you can do um, the triple weaving or bigger wire okay so this is what it looks like on one end and this is what it looks like on the other we have our petals okay so we're going to cut the petals off okay A little scrap bowl over here. <laughs> okay, so now you have this on both ends. Okay, so we're going to take one of our cute little tool right here. And we're going to gather all of the ends much as you can I should say try to gather all of them in one Sorry about that. Okay, here we go. I'm trying to grab it and <laughs> can't see. Okay, pushing it in through. 
another one right there. So we can like grab three and then twist. Okay. So you can get to the other ones. Okay. And two more. And twist and grab those two, and then we're going to push back. Okay. We're going to do it on the other side as well. This one is going to be uh, different because this is the, the very end of your knit or weaving. So they're not all going to be the same length. Okay, so the next part, we're going to um, make the coil, and we're going to need our two 3 inch each of the 18 gauge for the loop inside, but right now we're going to need 18 gauge, I have some extra 18 gauge over here, and we're going to use to uh, make the coil. I'll straighten that out. I don't have a measurement for this because I usually just do it from um, from from the spool. I can't think. Okay. So so we're going to be making the coil we're going to use um, our bail making pliers fourth size from the biggest one or from the bottom okay it's going to be we're going to use a 18 gauge dead soft round wire and make sure that your ends are flushed so we're just going to trim just a bit okay so we're going to grab it I don't know if you guys can see that Okay, then we're going to start coiling. It's okay if it gets a little wonky. Okay. We're going to do about the length of um pliers or that size okay if you measure it it's about three quarters 
about three quarters. Okay. Make sure that it overlaps with the beginning. Okay. It's a little loose right down. Okay, if it comes out a little wonky, you can take your nose pliers on this side. I'm just going to straighten it out while you turn it. Smush that together. You have your end coil for your bracelet. We're going to need two of these. So we have our two caps. I'm gonna set that aside. I'm going to work on our loops at the ends. So you're going to take your 18 gauge, three inch long, one of them, um, copper wire. We're gonna find the center, and we're gonna bend, forming like a V shape. And then put your pliers right down here. It's about a quarter of an inch. Okay, from the bend. And you're going to take that and bend it towards you. Like so. Okay. Take the other one and do the same. Find the center, make a V shape. So now it looks like a less than, okay? <laughs> Mathematics. You put your pliers down at the bottom and bend towards you. Okay, so. Right at the end over here, where where the second bend is, that's what's going, it's going through the hole. Like so. Okay. So now, oops. With this pointing up, and the other end pointing towards you, take your nose pliers, hold it on the inside, and turn and wrap around, just that top, okay, until you go all the way around. You'll have to hold it with your uh, pliers so it doesn't, because what it's going to do is going to just keep wobbling. Turn it towards that. You're going to pass the start. Just right past that and then trim. I'm going to snip just a little bit. Okay, don't tighten them yet. I'm going to do the other side. I'll do with your pliers. Turn. Oops. be tricky doing the ends. Okay, turn it around this way. All the way around. Then 
and snip. Okay, so now you take one of your end caps. Okay, I'm going to put it through from the top, and this is when we will adjust this wire so it fits snug inside our end cap. Okay, so we're going to do that, whoops, by squeezing. A little bit at a time okay squeeze that around Make nose pliers almost Just tightening that around it. Okay. Maybe a little more. we go okay so it's in there snug okay so we're gonna turn it push it down just a little bit just so you have the very end of this wire showing okay I'll do that on the other side as well So we have this end right here. We're gonna need our round nose plier. Our round nose plier. Okay. So I'm going to bend this towards the center. Spend it just a little bit. Like so. Okay, take your round nose pliers. And here. And then we're going to make a loop. Okay. Switch it all the way around. Okay. So you guys can see it better. I twist it around. One or two times. 
And then we're going to snip. So the coil, we're going to push it up just a little bit, just so it's right around the top of the neck of the loop. We're going to squish this end. Okay, this end towards the inside. So we'll turn this just a little bit. that in okay. push it in just a little bit so it's not sticking out at the top okay sorry my camera's not focusing okay and then you can also squish this at the bottom so it's not sticking out as well not too much though okay just squeeze that in a little tight tighter there we go okay and do it on the other side I'm going to snip. And then push that up. Okay. Make sure you don't push it in too much as it's going to get your coil oil all deformed. So okay. So now we're going to measure this from this end to that end. This one is going to be about seven inches. Okay. Okay, so the final step we're going to need to make the extender. I usually put about four or five. Now, if they request for more, then absolutely yes. So we're going to need, I'm going to need to put four of the jump rings on this side. And um, for where the clasp is going, uh, clasp, is, is, <laughs> clasp is going to be, I'm putting one jump ring. So I'm going to show you guys the clasp that I make. I usually use this one for women's and this one for men's. I don't think men's would love that sword. I don't know. I always ask them though. Um, sometimes I ask them which one they like the best. I'm going to take 
one of our jump rings. Put up with the three. At the end. Oops. A little too hard there. Is that okay? And we take our last jump ring through that. So we use this one right here. There we are. It's about the same size as this, little, just a tad bigger. But um, you see, there's some see. You can easily bend this. If I can put it on with one hand, there we go. That is our Viking knit unisex Viking knit bracelet. So, thank you so much, you guys, for there's our finished product. Like I said, you guys can make this bigger if you're doing um, men's or make your own designs. This is super lightweight, by the way. So this is our unisex Viking knit bracelets. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being here and being patient with me. <laughs> I have my camera right in front of me, my face, so it's kind of difficult sometimes. I try to look through um, through my camera to do stuff, and it's kind of hard that way. So I, it, it's, it's going to take a lot of getting used to. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you uh, learned um, something and... Either you guys um, can rewatch this again later, um, stop and rewind the video, or you can um, work along with me. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Um, don't forget to like and follow my YouTube channel. I also have some short tutorial videos on my TikTok. Um, the link is on my bio. And thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon.